Hello and welcome to Smart Agriculture. I am Vivian Fernandez. In this series, we are talking about getting more from less. Less fertilizer, less chemicals, less pesticides, less human effort, less land, and above all, less water. Traditional agriculture is a water guzzling activity, and water is a cause of bitter disputes between countries and Indian states. But it is possible to do high yielding agriculture with frugal use of water. For this episode, we travel to Water Challenge Maharashtra and the rather curiously named Jalgaon to see for ourselves how a company with foresight has managed to popularize a water saving technology by converting it into a productivity enhancing tool. Scenes like this are common in the poor parts of Delhi and they tell us how little we need to get on by. Delhi has enough but cannot assure round the clock water supply because a large volume is lost to leakages. And there are neighborhoods that splurge while others skim. This is the story also of our countryside. Flood irrigation is still the norm in agriculture, and in many parts, we are depleting water as if it were an inexhaustible resource. Frugality in water use in agriculture may be forced on us if we do not practice it out of choice. Gandhi epitomizes frugality and life in harmony with nature. Bhavarlal Jain regards him as his guide. He even has a museum called Gandhi Tirth in Jalgaon near Aurangabad in North Maharashtra. Jawaharlal Nehru and J.R.D. Tata are his other lord stars. It is an unlikely combination, but their place in Jain's pantheon is thought out, not whimsical. Gandhiji, how to live? Nehruji, how to dream? And J.R.D. Tata, how to do business with a social conscience. Bhavarlal Jain can be regarded as one of the entrepreneurs who made India. They are people who chase and shape transformative ideas well ahead of their time. The idea of drop by drop or drip irrigation clicked with Jain at a trade exhibition in the United States. He saw a future for it in Maharashtra where less than a fifth of the land is irrigated. Micro irrigation was not a new concept. A few companies were engaged in it, but it had not caught the imagination of the country nor of the government which was reluctant to release foreign exchange so Jain could buy the technology. I remember a dialogue I had with the government officer who was concerned with my file to sanction $30,000 as a technology fee. And he said, Mr. Jain, what are you talking about giving $30,000, big money in those days? And uh, you are saying that uh, you will save water. But we are not importing water, so why should you be talking about saving of water? Tenu Borle is one of those who reimagined life because of Jain's pioneering enterprise. He is another Indian who started life after matriculation as a chai seller in the village square. Today, he counts his annual earnings in tens of millions of rupees. As a banana grower, he has climbed up the social ladder and made the transition from being patronizingly called Tenya to a respectful Tenu Sate. Borle was an early convert to drip irrigation. From 2,000 plants in 1990, he now has 72,000 plants on 60 acres of own and leased land. His annual income is not less than 1.5 crore rupees. <laughs> ड्रिप से शुरुआत की समझो ड्रिप से शुरुआत की तो बिना ड्रिप से पहले इतना पौधा बड़ा नहीं होता था अभी ड्रिप से शुरुआत करने के बाद में इतना बड़ा पौधा आता है क्वालिटी भी आ जाती है उससे क्वालिटी आ जाती है तो रेट भी अच्छे मिल जाता है समझो बाजार में और फर्टिगेशन डेली फर्टिगेशन करने से ना एवरेज भी ठीक आता है एलो सेट इज अ ड्रॉ अमंग फार्मर्स ही इज नोन आफ्टर हिज इनिशियल्स which appropriately resonate with the yellow peel of the fruit he produces. Lakshman Onkar Chaudhary is a Karodpati farmer who turned to agriculture because a diploma in education did not fetch him a school teacher's job. A banana grower for 40 years, he shifted out of flood and furrow irrigation in 1989 and was among the first crop of farmers to adopt drip irrigation. From four barren acres to begin with, he now grows the fruit on about 200 acres of own and leased land. Eki motor par dugni ke liye lagai, aur dugni fasal bhi aayi. Aur pehle ham do saal mein 
एक फसल लेते थे फिर भी उसमें 65 फाइव परसेंट ही केली कट जाती थी अभी हमारी केली 100 परसेंट कट जाती है और एक दो साल में दो फसल हम लेते हैं आराम से मिलता है There is more to drip irrigation than installing the apparatus of pumps, pipes and nipples. It means unlearning wisdom handed down from father to son, questioning tradition. They say the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Once people start interrogating received certitudes, there is no stopping them from asking why not. Why not use the drip system to apply dissolved fertilizer drop by drop, a process known as fertigation? Why not keep fewer hands on a banana bunch and get bigger fruit that customers prefer? Why not use cloned test tube tissue culture plants instead of disease prone conventional rhizomes or suckers of uncertain yield? It is the mindset sir that is one and second thing is people are very conservative. So willingness to change is also uh, a question means they are not willing to change fast. And they are more looking at this as a source of livelihood they are not looking at agriculture as a business nor they are looking or treating agriculture as science so the result is that they are not adopting they are not moving from traditional methods to modern methods for this farmer making the switch meant negotiating a personal dilemma a graduate in computer science he fell back on farming when a 3 year search did not get him a job pretty hard up himself he wanted to take a bet on tissue culture and get the best out of the drip system his father had already installed he would be the first in the village to do so and a wrong move could push the large joint family of 12 persons deeper into debt but the gamble paid off when his 1700 tissue culture plants yielded the same as double the number of conventional plants his annual savings from 10 acres of bananas are in the range of 25 lakh rupees and other youth in the village have taken after him inke upar aisa asar pada ki bhai ye jo bsc karke kheti kar raha hai aadmi to jo abhi jo pad raha hai wo bhi soch raha hai ki apun bhi kheti karenge The transformation of lives by companies like Gen Irrigation is not altruism. It is enlightened self-interest that creates shared prosperity. Gen Irrigation must ensure its farmer customers prosper for them to buy its products. It is integrated with them through the banana crop cycle from saplings to a limited buyback of fruit for processing. At this facility, it produces 60 million tissue culture plants of high-yielding Gran Nain. a honduran variety imported from israel in the early 1990s the 10 month tissue culture plantlings sell for 13 rupees each four times more than conventional rhizomes but demand exceeds supply it aggressively promotes drip irrigation by installing the systems on farms at half the cost and claiming the other half as subsidy on behalf of the farmers from the government it is a business model it is discontinued after delays affected cash flow severely agronomic practices continually improved through research help farmers get the most out of their banana crops when the drip irrigation started in 1988 uh, 87 88 the first trial we conducted and nobody was believing that we can grow banana by this drop by drop of water because it is beyond the imagination of the farmers so the main role played by the drip irrigation in the increment in production and productivity of banana here because drip irrigation apply water not to the soil it apply water to the crop companies become engines of change when driven by individuals with passion knowledge and desire for social good like kb patel who is affectionately ripped as kela becho patel a doctorate in banana cultivation he has been at it for 21 years his ardor undimmed under his watch jalgaon grows bananas that yield fruit in one year instead of 18 months and have a 3 year life cycle dense planting wind barriers around plantations and drip irrigation create the required high humidity within plantations absent in hot and dry jalgaon 
Planting in April instead of June enables the best use of monsoon rains. The application of nutrients in varying combinations and doses depending on weather and growth stage is another innovation. देश के उत्पादन में 16 प्रतिशत का हिस्सा लेके चल रहा है हम बगीचे देखे इतने अच्छे बगीचे हैं। क्यों है कि जितना टेम्परेचर बढ़ेगा तो उतना प्लांट में रेजिस्टेंट निर्माण करने के लिए या प्लांट में ऐसा मैकेनिज्म निर्माण करने के लिए उसको बैलेंस न्यूट्रिशन की जरूरत है यदि आज टेम्परेचर 47 हुआ है तो हम हमारे किसान को बोलते हैं कि आप पोटेशियम एक के से आज बढ़ा दो India is the world's largest banana producer though it ranks low as an exporter. Maharashtra is the second largest producer and if Jalgaon district were a state it would rank 5th in production. It produces 3 quarters of Maharashtra's output. Within Jalgaon tarukas like Raved are almost entirely banana country. Maharashtra ranks high in productivity at 23 tons per acre against the national average of 15 tons. But those who adopt the combination of drip irrigation, fertigation and tissue culture, that is those who use drip irrigation as a productivity enhancing tool, get 40 tons per acre or a net income of about 2.5 lakh per acre. Yet despite the incentives and the marketing, the adoption rate of drip irrigation is still low in the country. The adoption is higher in the western part of India where the water availability is low. followed by south uh, tamil nadu karnataka and andhra pradesh now rajasthan has also started coming up but north east and northeast continue the to be very very slow the national mission on plastics in agriculture in the 80s gave the impetus for irrigation particularly drip irrigation which allows large areas to be watered at once drip pipes can be put on uneven land and they can cope with interruptions in power supply and labor shortage but india has only 8% of irrigated areas or less than 2 million hectares under drips and sprinklers while other countries are far ahead within india a few states lead does drip irrigation help raise the groundwater table one cannot say with certainty The latest official data of 2009 classifies banana growing Raved and Yawal talukas as over exploited groundwater areas. To make a difference, clusters of farmers must adopt technology and this is where the government must step in. Yes, the government must play a facilitative role for smart agriculture to happen. We slip into a break when we return why Maharashtra has made it mandatory for sugarcane growers to use water saving technology. Rice and cane are water guzzling crops. Rice is grown in paddies with standing water. These emit methane which is an earth warming gas. Scientists say that the standing water is actually meant to kill weeds. Sugarcane is an efficient converter of solar energy. Here in Sangli farmers have demonstrated it can be an efficient user of water as well. I have with me one of those progressive farmers Sanjeev Mane Asta who has been able to achieve high yields. Mane sahab namaskar. Namaste. Mane sahab aapka is khet ka kya khasiyat hai? शुरू शुरू में 22 टू टन्स तक पर एकड़ का यील्ड मिलता था लेकिन अभी इस ज़मीन के खासियत से अभी मैं 116 टन पर एकड़ इतना यील्ड इस साल लिया है तो आप इतना ज़्यादा प्रोडक्शन ले रहे हैं ये, ये कैसे ले रहे हैं आप पूरा टेक्निक्स है जो विद्यापीठ में हमको एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटीज़ में जो नया टेक्निक्स आया है उसका हम यूज़ यहाँ करते हैं 
और उस हिसाब से हमको ये सब मिल रहा है यहाँ पे पानी की कमी नहीं है वैसे तो पानी बहुत है हमारे यहाँ क्योंकि हमारे इस गांव के लिए दो नदियाँ हैं रिवर्स है जो एक का नाम है कृष्णा करके है और दूसरे है वो वारना करके है पानी बहुत मिलता है हमको दूसरी बात हमारे यहाँ को वाटर सोसाइटीज़ है तो आप पहले यहाँ पर फ्लड इरीगेशन करते थे हम तो पहले बहुत फ्लड इरीगेशन करते थे और बहुत ज़्यादा पानी देते थे हमारे एक ऐसा कहना था हमारे जो बुजुर्ग लोग थे उन्होंने बताया था कि शुगर केन को अगर आप पानी में खड़े करेंगे तो वो बहुत ज़्यादा ईल्ड देगा और पैसा भी बहुत देगा करके हमने बहुत साल ऐसा ट्राई किया दो तीन चार साल ऐसा ट्राई किया शुगर केन में पानी बहुत छोड़ते रहे बहुत छोड़ते रहे उसको पानी में खड़ा करके देखा लेकिन एंड में ऐसा ध्यान में आ गया कि कर्जा बहुत बढ़ रहा है पैसा नहीं मिल रहा है उसमें एक ध्यान में आ गया कि पानी ज़्यादा देने से शुगर केन का ईल्ड बढ़ता नहीं है तो आप वाटर मैनेजमेंट कैसे करते हैं 1996 में पहले मैंने ड्रिप इरिगेशन बिठाया तब से आज तक मेरा पूरा लैंड जो है वो ड्रिप इरिगेशन पे है और ड्रिप इरिगेशन में भी जितना रिक्वायरमेंट शुगर केन के लिए पानी का है उतना ही पानी हम ड्रिप इरिगेशन से देते हैं फॉर माने व्हाट्सएप इज एन आउटरीच टूल ही पोस्ट मैसेजेस ऑलमोस्ट एवरी डे ऑन वेज टू इंप्रूव केन प्रोडक्टिविटी to about 5100 followers up from 300 when he started in february 2014 mane says their productivity has risen considerably after following his advice here in ahirwadi village farmers have a problem of plenty the water table is so high because of the topography that the soil has turned saline यहाँ का जो वाटर होता है वो भी सॉल्टी होता है यहाँ के वाटर से खेत में अनाज नहीं आता और पूरा खेत यानी लैंड हमारी डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाती है इसलिए हमें कृष्णा रिवर से ही अच्छा पानी लाना पड़ता है सो अबाउट हंड्रेड स्मॉल फार्मर्स ओइंग एज मेनी एकर्स फॉर्म द वाटर को ऑपरेटिव टू पुल मनी एंड ब्रिंग वाटर फ्रॉम अ रिवर सिक्स किलोमीटर्स अवे एट एन इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ वन लैख सिक्सटी एन एकर conserve water they are all on drip what they did out of choice has become mandatory in this state which grows cane in areas that are not suitable for cane sarkar ne naya rule laya hai parso hi agar 2017 tak agar aap drip nahi karoge to aapki je jo water ka aap river se uthate uska jo costing hoga wo 500% tak badhega My take away from this episode is that farmers are willing to adopt change if they see gains in it. It takes enlightened corporates to initiate innovative change and to sustain it and governments can help with supportive policies. That is all in this episode of Smart Agriculture. We'll be back with another. Till then, goodbye and take care.